So I'm a little excited to unveil a special product. We've got the Data Color Spider X2 Ultra. Okay, let's talk about the Data Color Spider X2. I believe I got in this device at a perfect timing given that I just recently got a new laptop computer and I've come to notice that the laptop monitor screen, just the colors of it in itself produces a little bit more richer, darker tones that's different from my actual Dell monitor that I use primarily. So why not give this a try and get some better results out of my photo editing and video editing process. The device is quite simple actually. Um, just straight out of the box, it's really straightforward. I have the ultra version, which there are two versions of it and I'm just gonna put here on the, on the screen. And the differences are not so major. I'm just gonna have them laid out right here for you to look at. But it's actually a pretty smart device and it's not something that you need to do regularly, but they do recommend a monthly calibration. And I think that just depends on the ambient light inside your room, the times of day that you are editing or using your monitors just to get the best exposure and color output from your monitors. I will be testing two different monitors. The main monitor that I do use is a Dell ultra wide 34 inch. And then I also have a 27 inch Dell monitor that I'm testing a new configuration of it right here behind me. And this is something new that I've never done before, but I am excited to try this out and actually get the monitors calibrated. So let me just show you what that looks like. You're going to use the device. Um, it has like this lens cover on here. And this lens is actually what faces up against your monitor. And there's some recommended precept that you have to follow, but straight out of the box, um, just following the steps and prompts, it actually is pretty straightforward to figure out. Um, prior to using this data color spider calibration tool, I've also used a actual color card. If anyone's familiar with this, most filmmakers use this as a way to kind of like zero in their colors on camera. I typically just use the gray card side just to help calibrate what's very neutral. So that way when I do come to edit and post that my color temperatures aren't too green, too magenta, too warm or too blue. So, and also I like the kind of color palette this to have as a prop just in the background. So it's a nice touch that I've been able to just add to my videos. Okay, Put that back and it keeps falling. There we go. Okay, um, overall, I think it's a great product and it's something that even if you don't have a lot of experience with the product like myself, easy to set up, easy to use, and something that I'm pretty excited to pretty much regularly use every month, just to ensure that um, the setup that I have in my room, if the lighting is a little bit different, I do wanna create some um, calibration profiles if I do plan to edit during the day, as opposed to editing at night and the evening, or even in the mornings. Um, you will get different ambient light. Um, my current setup right now, you can see I have two windows in the back. Um, and then just, I think I did that for that reason, just to not get a lot of glare. But if I'm doing video, I do have a studio light right here at the moment, and that would produce different results for sure. I hope you liked this. I hope it was helpful and just stay tuned for more.